I'm curious about the, the skills that you would say that have helped you in your career and some of the skills sets that skill set that you have I wonder if you can talk to us a little bit about that some of the skills you have and how they've helped you absolutely so I'm going to talk from the perspective of top skills that I learned and that I cultivated as administrative support professional and that then I feel catapulted me into leadership opportunities and then prepared me for the job that I have now so I would say those top skills are communication skills. So we know we're communicating all the time as administrative support professionals. We're communicating orally, we're communicating writtenly, we're communicating digitally. And so you have to have superior communication skills to not only do your job, but to then rise either within the administrative support professional ranks or if you wanna move up and out. So always working on my communication skills, how I talk to people, how I write, because now here I am, executive director of communications. That involves a lot of writing, a lot of talking, a lot of preparing things that people are going to see and read. So communication skills. Secondly, relationship management. How we create relationships, how we serve people in those relationships how we are able to then benefit by the relationships that we create. Quick, quick, quick story. So when it was time for me to interview for the new job, it was a moment in time, it was during the pandemic, um, and my boss, who I was supporting solely, he happened to be on a personal leave at the time. So he had some personal things he needed to take care of, and he was going to be out of office for several months. So it it was actually his cabinet team, the ones that reported to him, who actually interviewed me for the job and made the decision to hire me. Had I not spent time cultivating those relationships and not just focused on my boss solely, how do you think that would have worked out for me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> or if yeah. I had burned bridges with them. It would not have worked out in a way that would have been beneficial when it came time for me. Because, see, I had cultivated really good relationships with them and they knew me. They knew my work. They knew what I was capable of. So it was it was a win win when it came time for me to interview for that job. So communication, relationship management. And then I'll say lastly, executive presence. How do you show up? How do you present yourself? in rooms? Are you able to, again, communicate effectively? Are you able to stand in for your boss? Uh, people in the organization recognize who you are even without your title. Do they know that you can handle higher levels of responsibility? And so all those things worked in my favor and those are the things that helped me move up. 